it was such a beautiful evening, first of all, because the Cooper Hewitt Museum offers such a, a fantastic setting for this, this type of events with its beautiful gardens and the exhibit of Antique Art Pels uh, with his uh, over 300 pieces of jewelry, artifacts was, was, was uh, breathtaking. And uh, it was also an opportunity for us to showcase the exhibition that will be taking place uh, in Monaco this summer. And it was a pleasure also for us to see uh, how many of our guests were willing to offer their best wishes uh, uh, to Serene Highness uh, Prince Albert and his bride to be. This is purely a special occasion for us to showcase the announcement this summer of the wedding of His Serene Highness Prince Albert II to South African uh, Olympic swimmer Charlene Woodstock. You know, the event at the Cooper Witt Museum was also organized to benefit the Princess Grace Foundation and the wonderful work that the foundation has, has done over the past 29 years. And we were delighted to have uh, uh, that evening uh, the Honorable John Lemon, the chairman of the Princess Grace Foundation, with us. And of course, uh, uh, Buzz Aldrin, who's such a good friend uh, with his wife Lois of the Municipality of Monaco. We have now been operating uh, for nearly 30 years, and uh, uh, we, during that time, have given uh, close to 600 scholarships and apprenticeships and awards. Tonight we're celebrating uh, the greatest race of all, the Monaco Formula One Grand Prix. And we truly do de delighted to partner with the Consulate of Argentina because we're also celebrating the spirit of excellence of one Argentinian greatest son, uh, one Manuel Fangio, who started his career uh, as a mechanic and won his first race uh, driving a Ford uh, taxi in, at the age of 18. It was only later on in life, at the age of 39, that he was uh, uh, called in to participate uh, in, a, in Grand Prix racing and in fact won his first Grand Prix race in Monaco in 1950. For me, the word, the word Fangio means so much. I was 10 years old at the time of his glory and I think for every uh, young man or every child in Monaco, we have the same feeling. Also, this is an opportunity for us to uh, raise awareness about the work of the Prince Albert of Monaco Foundations and another organization in Argentina called Yaudaya, uh, which is a non-profit organization for underprivileged children in, in Argentina.